In today's video, we will understand an important concept related to Java's exception handling mechanism, which is exception propagation. To understand it, consider a scenario. Suppose a method calls a method which calls another method, which in turn calls another method. If any method in this call chain raises an exception, then the exception is propagated upwards till it is handled. If the exception is not handled anywhere in this call chain, then it propagates till the main method or the starting point. Let me show this. Define a method with name method1, accepting a string argument. Copy this method and create two other methods with names method2 and method3. In method3, print the length of string argument. Call this method from method2, call method2 from method1, and method1 from main with a null value. Also, print a message after each method call. Run this. Look what we get. An exception. If you look at the trace, the exception arises at line 21, which is this line. Next in the trace is line 16, which is the line at which method 3 is called. And then at line 11 and at line 6 inside main. So an unhandled exception rises up the stack. This is called exception propagation. Now handle the exception in method 1. Run again. Now we get the message printed by this line and this is because the exception was handled in method 1 and so the statement written after this method call got executed. That is all for this video. In the coming parts of this video, we will understand other important concepts related to exception handling such as finally block, throw and throws keywords, etc.